Hello, Andrew Bell, Abel Sim here, and I'm coming to the end of a series of short videos on setting up a document in Word for a master's dissertation. This clip is about inserting the table of contents. Now, because we've uh, set up the sections and the page numbers and the headings with a proper numbering system, we're going to get the table of contents for free. So here is the document that we've been working on. Uh, and I'm just going to make a slight um, change to it uh, as we've got this far, um, because each of these items and each new chapter should be on a new page. So I'm going to uh, put a break in. I'm going to insert a page break at the at each one. And this is just going to make the table of contents look a little bit more interesting. And I can use the navigation pane to jump to the next thing that I want. The glossary will be on a new page. And then chapter one is in a new section. So that is a new page. And the literature review, new chapter, new page. And my conclusion chapter, new page. And my references, new page, bibliography, new page, and appendices, new page. And now I can see um, an error from my last video. Um, I didn't. I didn't take off the numbering system uh, for the references, the bibliography and the appendices. So I'm going to do that now um, on the home tab. I'm just going to say, no, I don't want any numbers for these sections. So I've now got some space on the page that's going to be the table of contents. So um, I'm going to insert the table of contents. I'm going to use the default one that comes with uh, Word. Um, and we're not going to use the insert menu. We're going to use the references menu to do this. So click on the references tab in the ribbon. And here we are far left table of contents. I'm just going to pull that down. I'm just going to go with uh, an automatic um, table of contents, but you can see you can customize it and get different styles. So I'm just going to click that. And um, yeah, it's, it's as easy as that. So this is why we have set up all of those headings. Um, we can see that um, abstracts, I, declaration of originality, I, I, um, then the uh, introduction starts so back at page one. Inclusion is now on page three because I put those page breaks in and the um, references. The references should be on page one here. So what's happened here? I've got a, a blank page and I'm just going to delete that page. And the references now back to the table of contents. The references, um, well, a good example here. I need to update this. So I click inside it, right click it, and we need to um, update the field to reflect the, that little edit that I've made. I'm going to update the entire table, and now the references are on page one. So as you make changes within the content of your dissertation, you need to come back here to the table of contents, right click it, uh, update the field. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete the table of contents. Table of contents, I'm going to remove it uh, because I want to just insert a custom table of contents. Because here I can I can show how many levels that I want to see. Um, my chapter headings have got three levels. So I've got this uh, 2.3.1 and 2.3.2, .2, but I can actually force it only to show two levels. Um, now we can't see the third level, which is probably correct. In my PhD, in the main content, I had six levels, but I don't want to show all six levels in the table of contents. So there's a, a quick way of just reducing the table of contents. We don't want the table of contents to go over more than two sides, really. So a good way of controlling it. Uh, and it's as easy as that. We now have a table of contents that we right click and automatically um, update, the, update the field when we make uh, changes to keep the table numbers and the page numbers correct. So thank you for your attention there. Our final video is going to be inserting some figures, putting captions on the figures and inserting a table of figures.
Thank you for watching.